Hello and welcome. This is Linda. So happy to have you here with me today. I want to go over what I've accomplished so far on the challenge here that I'm hosting on Icky Chic Designs channel because so many people may be um, overwhelmed when they hear this, the term coffee table sized stitchery book. But really it's not if you can make a little bitty one you can make a great big one the only difference is time everything else stays the same if you can make stitches if you can put fabric together that's all you need to do and just do it in a bigger size <clears throat> now this is right now running about let's see uh about eight and a half by 12. That's about the size of this book, eight and a half by 12. You can see that I've got three signatures here. Uh, two of them are completed. The last one is 90% there. But I wanted to bring you up on where I'm at right now. Uh, at the present rate, I think I'm going to be able to do maybe six signatures before <clears throat> October when I'll switch over and work on the actual book and the cover for it uh, so that I can uh, bind these into a book. So <clears throat> I don't know if I'll get six, but that's I think that's what I'm going to shoot for. And uh, we'll see. But right now I have three. And three signatures gives me, a f there's four sides to a signature, so that's 12 sides, or what we would call pages if it were a real book. So let me just flip you through here. Uh, now, this may not be the order anything goes in when I actually bind it, but just to give you an idea. I love this page. Uh, I think my last video I showed where I put the two little pieces in here and call that finished. Uh, the inside here is very eclectic. <laughs> we have the mosaic piece over here with the fringed and then we have the uh, two landscape pieces on this very busy floral background. Another thing I want to emphasize is please notice nothing is perfect. Nothing is perfect. Everything is sewn in here with basic straight stitches and an overcast stitch. And uh, even my pieces themselves basically are done with straight stitches. Very little, really what I would call decorative embroidery. Mostly just sewing, just sewing pieces together. So, <clears throat> excuse me for my allergies sniffing here. But, um... Also, uh, remember that the center you want to not load up because it needs to fold in the center, okay? So now, if that one was in the book, it would fold over like that, okay? I love this piece because it goes f uh, from very wild otherwise to kind of vintage look, which gives a different, whole different look flipping through the book. Then we come here to this uh, page here, and I love, I love, love, love the colors of this. And uh, just, it just grabs your eye. And uh, I think, yeah, I do, I have this upside down. <laughs> Let me turn that back that way. It would be better if it was the right way up. This one will be the center of the book. Uh, and, well, I don't know that it'll be the center, but... This one will be, it has to be somewhere where it can uh, <clears throat> open up because it has a panorama, but isn't the florals on this gorgeous? I love that. What, what a beautiful page. Again, it's just straight stitching, just putting things together that I've, some of these I've already made, so I just put them on a page. Collaging the different elements embellishing with whatever suits you at the time okay nothing perfect this is the perfectly imperfect coffee table challenge and anyone can do this 
anyone with a needle and thread can do this, okay? Now we open it up, we do get the center. This is the only one that will be a panorama where both pages go together. Uh, this was a landscape that I had already made and I just incorporated it into this page, okay? This is a little pocket right here. I love that. Then we get over here to this page that I love so much. And I <laughs> won't go, I was thinking, wait a minute, this is upside down, the branches on the top. <laughs> that was the clue I had that I had it wrong to start with. But uh, just crazy little stuff going in, straight stitches, some little French knots here that otherwise, you know, that's it and there, that's all there is there. Okay. Now, this is the one I've been working on this uh, right now. And uh, I have this one completed, but I just got through putting this lace down here and this heart and added that to the page. And I really, I really like that. I think it, I, I needed something down here. I wasn't quite sure what, but I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay. Now this one opens up to this page. Uh, this is another landscape and it is just a focal point on a very simple collaged background, straight stitches, all that's on here, okay. This I really love too. I had this piece that's a, a, a piece of embroidered fabric, but it just, I didn't have all of it, so I just cut out what I did have and put it on there. Used some different fabrics and, and yarns to pull it together. Put it on this uh, gauzy black and cream colored background. And I'm very happy with that page. I think it's really cool. Loving it a lot. Okay. Then this page I have shown in another video too. Now this one's not quite finished because I am going around the edges in an overcast. And as you can see, I've got right there so far. Uh, I've got to come down here and here. This one is already sewn all the way around so I don't have much before I'll be finished with with this one and I'll be starting a new one so I won't be making another video video until I get into this next fourth fourth uh, signature here you can see it's going to be a, a chunky chunky book when it's all together if, especially if I can double this this uh, width in here so I'm going to make my actual book out of a heavy cardboard and then make a cover fabric cover for that book and uh, I I am so looking forward to finishing this project because I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like when it's all finished I'm just loving it and another thing that I'm loving is that I'm, I'm able to put some of the things I've already finished in this book and I love that now this page has nothing that I already finished this page is just I don't know what to, how to describe it. It's just whatever it is. It's just things I put on here and uh, worked with just collage stuff, okay? Uh, this was just a piece that I didn't do but already had that was very decorative and I just used it to collage. This was a landscape that I made. This was a floral piece that I already had, and so was this. So it was nice to be able to incorporate them. And they just pop these pages very well in there. And they'll be safe in this book, and I won't misplace them and lose them or, or damage them. This landscape was already made, so it really helped me get this page started. This piece was already made, and this piece was already made. So just getting them on a background, adding some embellishments to the page was all that it really took for that. These landscapes I made just recently, but this, this piece was already made. So just putting it in here, adding some embellishments to it, created a page. This piece was already made, and so it was just a matter of putting it on. So if you have pieces laying around in drawers on um, wherever on shelves that you've made in the past and don't know what in the world you're going to do with them, this is a great project. 
if they're little pieces, collage them on a page. If they're bigger pieces, make them huge focal points. Whatever, you can use a ton of your stuff that you've already done in creating this book, okay? So again, I am thrilled with where I'm at so far. I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. And please know that it's doable for anybody with a needle thread and some fabric, okay? It doesn't have to be as fancy as mine because I've already done, I've already had all these uh, slow stitch pieces done. It doesn't have to be that. It can be as simple as this page back here, just throw some fabrics together. Sew some odd things on there. Uh, do, do whatever you want to do. Make each page just a collage of stuff. It just takes a, a lot of scraps and some time, quite a bit of time. But we've got a year to complete this book. Uh, we're about to finish February, so now we're going to be down to 10 months to finish this book. But that's plenty of time. Look, I've done three signatures in two months. And uh, that's trying to keep up with everything else that I'm doing. So anyway, it's doable. Uh, remember to make your center point uh, not loaded up with too much so that it folds nicely and uh, it it will uh, sew into the book when I get ready to uh, sew it in. I think I got it backwards, yeah. And uh, also, I want you to notice that none of these pages are exactly the same size. They start out approximately, but some grow and some shrink as I'm working on them. <laughs> That's a mystery, but anyway, it works out. And uh, I I am going to make, uh, some of my signatures may be smaller in size. I'm thinking about in between some of these, putting a smaller page. We'll see how that works out. Uh, you, you look forward to that. Maybe I'll tr try one of those for the next uh, video. Anyway, till then, you can tell. I am staying wonderfully scrap happy, and please, you try to do the same. Bye-bye.